So, my baby boy got home this morning. If you don't know, my son is in the army and he just got home from deployment. And, um, well, he got home and I think mm, March or April, like the end of March, early April. It was April, but yeah, I haven't seen him since he got home and he just popped popped up in my house. When I woke up, he was in my house <laughs> in his old bed sleeping. Aww. And my little guy, six, is so excited that his big brother is home. Like he will not leave him alone. He even made him pick him up like, baby, <laughs> he's like, pick me up. <laughs> And if you know six, you know he ain't no baby. He just turned six years old. We don't call him six because he's six. We call him six because he's Joseph Anthony the sixth. Two of my favorite saints, by the way. All right, um, so I'm just now getting ready to pull up to my job. Excuse my car. I need a new muffler. I'm riding dirty on Burstone Road because um, my car is illegal right now. And I... Thug life, y'all. Thug life. Okay? Thug life. Thug life. So that's it and that's all. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just pulled up to my job. So now I gotta put my damn mask back on. Alright. Um, we're gonna do another night in the life of a night shift CNA. Alright? I'll be back. Okay. So I'm at work. And tonight, for some reason, I'm getting to work on my floor. That's something new. What is that? Am I gonna die? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just got to work. And so far, so good. But you know what? In this field, you don't say good, great, <laughs> you say none of them. <gasps> Quiet. That's something you don't say either. So, yeah, we're going to stay away from those words. Now i got to find some wood to knock on. But I'm not superstitious, so it's okay. All right. Look at those cheeks. You see how subtle my makeup looks? It just looks like I've got rosy cheeks. It looks natural. <laughs> No, let me go, because I need to figure out how to do my videos, like to stop it and then continue instead of taking, uh, doing them in like separate little videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, see people doing that all the time, but I can't, if I add to my video, I can like almost immediately, but if I wait like five minutes, then it already uploads on me. So I have to do it on my phone and then, you know, hook it up and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Hi, world. <laughs> all right. I'll see y'all soon. Bye. <laughs> so, ain't shit going on today. I got a lot of people walking around more than usual. But it's, hmm, ain't shit going on. But the rent. And no stimulus check. <laughs> yeah, so I am losing weight. Let me see if I can show you. My scrubs were, like, mad tight on me. Um, two weeks ago. So everything is... These are the scrubs that are telling me it's happening. See, I got a long way to go, but it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. How crazy. I just made a bit. Poquito. Loca in the cabeza. Poquito. Muy poquito. <laughs> All right, let me go. I got to go get something to drink. I haven't eaten all day, so I need to get me like a little snack or something. 
because I need the right way to lose weight, but I didn't even realize I hadn't eaten today because my son came home <laughs> from deployment. My little, my little guy, my son, my baby boy, he's not a little guy, but he came home today, so I guess I forgot to eat. <laughs> All right, signing out for now. Toodles. Okay, so I'm down here getting a snack. Y'all see that? <laughs> Come get your nail. Who lost their nail? Oh, I can't see it. Look at that. Somebody's fingernail was in there. <laughs> Somebody's fingernail. <laughs> Look at that shit. Okay, another night in the life. A night shift nursing assistant. <laughs> Once I, oh, hold on, hold on. We well, all don't need to see me that close. Yeah, I wonder why, like when I start recording, if I record one way, I can't switch it the other way. I got an iPhone. Aren't they smartphones? Cause it ain't that smart. Anyways, let me get on back up here. If y'all got any issues, call 1-800, no, 1-888-215-6592. Okay. Compliance hotline. They owe me money. I know they do. They damn sure owe me money. Shit. They were. Word, the big bird. <laughs> it's one of them nights. It's just slow. It's not that interesting tonight. But I can share some stories, man. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta go. So, I'm just coming out of the store. I didn't get out of work until 6.32. And, you know, these motherfuckers don't want to pay you a minute after 6 o'clock. But, there's a form that we have to fill out if we are if we have to stay over late which is stupid because we have a time clock but because they don't want to pay nobody they think nobody's gonna fill that form out but guess what I'm gonna fill that shit out I want to get paid I mean this happens every fucking time I work like bitches y'all late every fucking day i don't know what the full-timer is doing because if i was full-time on that floor oh honey i ain't no snitch but when you start fucking with me and i'm tired and i've been working all night and i want to go home and i can't leave until you get there then we got some problems we got some serious problems. Okay. My little guy is going to his grandmother's in a little while. I'm trying to get all my heavy shit in the car first. Because it just makes sense. I got a system. Let me tell you how it goes. Okay, so my system is you get all your okay, you get all your stuff in your cart, right? When you go up to the checkout line you put all the heavy shit first like I don't know your gallons of milk and all the shit that won't get squished like that so then they gonna bag up all that heavy shit first right so then <laughs> none of your delicate shit like your bread or your bananas is gonna get damaged it's a system a system and it works try it you just gotta pay attention <laughs> while you're talking it looks like I'm talking to myself because of course I'm making a video and I'm looking at myself while I'm talking so that's what makes it funny <laughs> so it's coming out of work and I ran into this this young lady that works on the floor that I used to work in a few years ago and uh, 
she was talking to me and she goes oh I saw you the other time when you were working and you just look so nice and you're so pretty I was like what am oh that was so nice <laughs> <laughs> here you go so yeah I was like oh you think I'm pretty <laughs> that just shows you what I've been doing like I'm all to myself I don't go nowhere I mean you start to feel some type of way about yourself when nobody says it I got pretty I got called pretty this morning feeling okay. I think that just started my day off. Just my car is going to be really loud because I need a new muffler. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that made me feel good. I was like, oh, somebody thinks I'm pretty. Well, I did have a mask on. <laughs> but she saw me without a mask the last time I was working. I think she just thinks I'm cool, you know. Because I do give that vibe. Because I am kind of cool. I mean. If you're ever in town, look me up. <laughs> Listen. This is night shift problems. I mean, this is the, the effect of when you work night shift. Oh. <laughs> it's called being overtired pretty damn tired so let me let me go ahead and end this because y'all don't want to watch me drive and talk to myself and you know what <laughs> there is an advantage to wearing the mask nobody sees me talking to myself <laughs> all right there we go I got people looking at me like I'm crazy I promise I'm not crazy I'm just really really tired I'm a nursing assistant and I work really really hard oh that was another thing she's like I know you work hard she goes I, they always tell me you know sit down sit down and I'm like hey my nurse said the same thing what you doing now I'm like I'm working what do you mean I had a nursing aide that I was when they had two nurses on each floor she was like what are you doing now why do people say that I was like, well, I'm working. See, she had a side and I had a side. Mm -mm -mm. My people were clean. My people were dry. And I washed wheelchairs. And I passed out supplies. Mm -mm -mm. And guess what? She had full beds in the morning. She was running behind. I know she wasn't cleaning those people the way they were supposed to be clean. And that's fucked up really you need to put yourself in that person's place or act as if they're your mom or maybe they don't give a shit about their mom I don't know but I know how I would want to be treated when I get to that point god man if my kids ever put me in a nursing home we gonna have some problems I'm coming back to haunt their asses and don't try to wean me off of no drugs when I'm 90 years old let me be happy I, I don't need to be worrying about no withdrawals or nothing like that. Just make sure I'm comfortable. If I've been on a pain med for a couple few years or whatever and I'm content and I'm happy with that or some anxiety medication, don't say, oh, well, she's doing fine. Let's just go ahead and wean her off of that. No, no. I'm 90. Let me have something, please. Just let me have that. All right. Now I'm done. Just remember, if a person is really, really old, why wean them off? Why even take them off of that med? It might be the only thing they have to look forward to. I'm just saying, I don't promote drugs, but I'm just saying, if a person is 90 years old, what the fuck? <laughs> just let them have it. Shit. All right. <laughs> Bye. Oh, make sure you subscribe share wait hustle me out to your friends just go ahead beep 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 share me on out with all your friends and give me some thumbs up y'all please and thank you very much bye toodle toot